future a group of adults will use their intellect, their leadership, and their innovations to shape the world. They will use their talent to carry the human race to new levels of ingenuity. Today, they have just completed their first mission, the Haas Summer Experience, Session 1. Students were split up into groups, red, white, blue, and gray, and the teams collaborated as a whole to plan a potential mission to promote the human exploration of Mars. As system manager, I oversee our main subgroups and special projects. I work closely with the point of contact to make sure that everyone is informed and uh, things are going smoothly. So my name is Jose Flores and I was a POC or the point of contact for the red team. Uh, I controlled a lot of the aspects of communication for my team between, you know, between teams for my red team to the blue team to the gray team. I am the system engineer for rationale and risk assessments. We will be researching about how likely the risk will occur, how to fix the problem, and how to minimize the risk during the journey to Mars. Others. Currently, my teammates and I are working and attempting to find the best way to travel to Mars. And by doing this, I feel like I'm part of NASA and it, it feels amazing. Hi, my name is Rishi Devale. I am the system engineer for the Interplanetary Spacecraft Design and Red Team. Uh, currently, we're trying to implement the VASMIR uh, rocket, uh, rocket propulsion technology on our uh, spacecraft. Students were given the opportunity to speak with NASA employees and cite them in their final presentation. The most interesting thing I learned during the interview was how the VASMR engine, the, the engine that we, use, that we chose, um, uses constant propulsion to reach Mars faster than a conventional rocket can. Very slowly with it, it's a very, very efficient engine. I played a large part in developing and building an NXT rover. This rover is the NXT computer mounted on top of a four-wheel drivetrain and an arm. We will use the arm, drivetrain, and a microphone to collect and identify rock and water samples in competition with three other teams. I'm a lunar prototyping and testing systems engineer. I oversee all of the research and development of primary and secondary systems on the lunar surface. I find that communication is a vital tool needed for this position as well as for the team. Along with the final project, students work together to complete challenges and innovation, including the real-life struggle of planning, financing, and engineering a successful spacecraft landing. Throughout the week, a number of experienced NASA employees presented different topics on space exploration. I concentrated throughout my astronaut career on talking to young people about setting goals for themselves and working hard to achieve those goals. You can't pursue a dream, you can't achieve a dream if you don't have a dream. And I personally think that everybody was put on the surface of the earth by God for a certain reason. And that reason is something that you have to figure out what it is, what are your likes, what are your dislikes, what are your talents, what would you pay to do if you could do it. The most important thing that we walk away with from this program is the skills we developed from working in a team. We gained first-hand experience in the various aspects of teamwork, which would be useful in many real-world situations in the workplace, especially if any of us choose to work at NASA, where communication is the key to success. All of our team members had to learn about dividing workloads, maintaining an energetic attitude, and communicating effectively to ensure the successful completion of our project. Students participating in the Haas experience were not only given a glimpse of their role in the future of space exploration, but were also reminded of the achievements of those who came before them, with a complete tour of the Johnson Space Center and a presentation by Gene Kranz. Mission control, there's no such thing as a first team, because once we launch, every team must be capable of accomplishing the mission. And finally, when we must act alone, and we know that time will come to each of us, we are never alone, because we know our team stands with us. And our line of work, failure, is not an option. Very challenging, but it's a marvelous way to live. The future of space exploration is the future, and it is our job to make it great, to continue a legacy of excellence. <laughs>